The Himalayas are well known for their majestic peaks at the top of the world, but they are also a crucial source of water. Across the range, thousands of glaciers feed water into the streams and rivers that make up South Asia's water supply. A billion people rely on this water for drinking and farming. But as global warming raises local temperatures, these glaciers are shrinking. Scientists worry their recession will first cause severe flooding and later devastating droughts. But they have little data to predict exactly when or by how much. Recently, I joined glaciologist D.P. Dhobal on the Chorabari Glacier in northern India. According to his research, the Chorabari is actually better off than most. It's a little deceptive because we are standing on what looks like just uh, a, a hillside, a mountain with a lot of rocks and, and, and dirt and debris and little patches of snow, but actually the rocks and the soil is the debris that covers the glacier itself and it acts as a sort of insulation. So this glacier is melting much slower than it otherwise would were it not for these rocks that are sitting on top of it. Dobal uses a steam drill to install bamboo stakes in the ice. The stakes record how quickly the glacier is losing its ice mass. So what you're doing is using steam. You're yeah. pumping steam yeah. into the ice, yeah. melting the ice, it's and making a clean hole clean all hole. the way down to five meters. Five meters, right that's now. right. A recent satellite survey by the Indian Space Research Organization, which included 466 glaciers in the region, showed that as a whole, the glaciers were 20% smaller in 2001 than they were in 1962. As Dobal's team moves across the glacier taking measurements at different points, they are collecting data that will help them better understand what might happen downstream in the future. We are standing at what is called the snout of the Chorabari Glacier. This is basically where the glacier ends and you can still see the ice down here slightly black in color. Today, the snout of this relatively insulated glacier has retreated 92 feet from where it was three years ago. It's nearly 900 feet from where it was in 1962. For the New York Times, this is Somini Sengupta.